Becoming visible would be an amazing superpower, and it's not actually as far fetched as you might think. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn something invisible using oil, pirate's glass, and the light around us. Now, light travels through different materials at different speeds, and once it moves from one material into another, it bends slightly or refracts. And it is this refraction that our eyes pick up, allowing us to see what is going on. Now, how well light travels through materials called its refractive index, and each material has a slightly different refractive index from another. For example, air has a slightly different refractive index from water, which has a different refractive index from glass. If you're to put two materials with the same refractive index together, then the light will pass through without being affected, and that would mean we wouldn't be able to see one of the materials making it invisible. So here I have a beaker of oil and I have a glass test tube. Now, when I place the glass test tube into the oil, because they have the same refractive index, then the light should pass through without being affected and that should make the test tube invisible. So let's find out. So as it is in, hopefully you should see that the test tube has completely disappeared. I know what you're thinking, you can still see some sort of candy. That's actually the air inside the test tube. And because air has a different refractive index, then the light is being slightly bent. But let's have a look what happens when I fill up the test tube with oil. And you can see it's completely disappeared. So let's show you that again. If I place the test tube into it, you can still see the air inside. But if I slowly fill up with oil, because the oil and the pirate's glass have the same refractive index, then the light passes through unaffected. Like that. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I've dropped it. Um, I can't. Let's see if there it is. The thing is, with being invisible, it's hard to see it to get back out again, though. Alright, I think we're alright. There we go. Do you know what? This works so well that throughout this entire experiment, that is also hidden. Another test tube. That's two. And I think we felt another one down here as well. There we go. Three. And there might be one more. There we go. Four test tubes. And as I said, this works so well that throughout the entire experiment, I've also managed to hide this entire colander flask as well. There you go, that's invisibility using refractive index.